Okay, so in this video we're basically going to simulate a bouncing ball. Um, so with a bouncing ball, the height of the second bounce is reliant on the previous bounce's height and a coefficient. So this is the bounce of the ball, h2, is going to be equal to k, the coefficient, times um, the previous bounce, h1. Previous height's bounce. Previous bounce's height, even. So we're going to see how many... Um, bounces it takes for it to stop bouncing. So I'm going to write number of bounces. So we'll expand this a little bit. And we'll just go one, two, and do our dragging thing. So I'll just drag it down quite a bit. So I'd say 30 bounces, something like that. So number of bounces. So this is this column is now going to be height. So I'm going to do different K values. So Let's say they all start at 20 meters or whatever. So 20, 20, 20, 20. So now we're going to do um, label our K's. So our K is going to be here. We're going to say it's uh, 0 0.9, and this one's going to be 0 0.8, and this one's going to be uh, 0. Point Let's see, 5 and then 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. Okay. So these are all our coefficients here up top. And these are the heights of the bounces. So now we want to just do, we want to write the code. So equals, um, so we want to do this one times uh, the previous height. It's bounce. So first of all, we want to lock this one up. So we want to mean makes that this one doesn't move. So this one's always stays the same. So now when I drag it down, that'll be the five, um, the O five one, zero O five, and then it'll be timesing by the O six one. So if we move that down one, this will be the O five one times by the O seven one. So that one. So if we keep scrolling that down, we can see when it stops bouncing essentially. And um, it will just consistently keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And um, I'll do that after. So for this one, I'm going to copy this code. So this code, but it's got the 05 lock, but we want it to be P5 instead. So if you want, you can, I think you can drag it, drag that there. And then we got the P6 thing anyway. So, and then we can drag this down to there. And then we'll repeat the same. So I'm going to, I'm going to not lock the, the column, but I'm going to lock the number there and you'll see why. So if we hit enter, that means I can drag this across and it'll still reference um, it there. So this one, it will lock the, the fifth number here, but it'll all be in the queue. So, and if we drag this across and then drag it down. Yeah. So now we want to format these cells so they're all um, integer values, basically. So I'm going to do right click or control click and then format cells. And then we're going to do number. And then I just want it to be um, zero decimal places. So it's going to be either just just an integer, pretty much. And so now you can see where each ball essentially stops bouncing. So if I keep dragging this one down, we can see it's still going to be rounding. Yes, yeah, so this one keeps going for quite a bit. Yeah, and it stops there. Okay, so you can see that this one stops at 36 bounces. Um, the one with the 0 0.8 coefficient stops at 18 bounces. With 0 0.5 coefficient, it stops at 6 bounces. And this one stops at 3 and stops there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the bouncy ball kind of thing. Um, just showing you how to drag across code, do all that kind of stuff, and... Um, how to calculate that thing.